Good morning, hockey fans. This is Stephen Heisler with HeisHockey.com, the Victoria's Hockey Company, and the Junior Hockey Discussion Group on Facebook. This is the Junior Hockey Morning Show. We are on the World Sports Broadcasting Network, WSBN.TV, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, your laptop, your iPad, your computer, your phone, wherever you are this morning. Today is Monday, March 27, 2023. I am recording this show a couple hours early this morning. We have an appointment to go to for my dear mom at 9 a.m., moving here to Orlando. Should be exciting. The kids are happy to have Mimi in town. Let's go through some of today's news over the weekend. Granite City Lumberjacks, North American 3 Hockey League, scored four unanswered goals to beat their West Division rival Alexandria 6-5 to five, and claim their fourth NA3HL Fraser Cup Championship in the last 11 years. Congratulations to Granite City and really Alexandria for putting up a heck of a fight. Nothing was easy at the 3HL Showcase. Granite City comes out on top again. You know what? I think only North Iowa and maybe the, I don't know who else was it, North Iowa? Sorry. So it was the Brahmas and one other team, the Metro Jets, that have won Fraser Cup championships in a long time. This has been held very strongly by the West Division. That group of teams is fantastic, continues to be the really cream of the of the crop when it comes to the 3HL. You got to send your kid there. That division is top notch. The today's report is regarding the central division of the North American Hockey League. We'll jump right into that quickly. The NHL central division has a history of keeping things interesting when it comes to the playoff chase. While the Austin Bruins clinched the regular season division title, the other five teams are all very much still in the playoff hunt. This is unusual to have every team still really in it with two weekends to go, three weekends to go. We're at the end of March. Usually things are a little more solidified than they are today. But here's where we are. The Austin Bruins are 33-13, and 5 74 points. Steve Howard's Bruins have bigger plans than just hanging the regular season division title banner in the rafters. That gritty shootout win over St. Cloud was a solid indication that there is still a competitive fire within this group and there won't be any letting up now. We were concerned that the Bruins were, you know, kind of sleeping at the wheel. Apparently they got a dose of caffeine or some hot peppers or whatever Steve Howard's feeding those kids. That win was gritty. That win was tough. St. Clouds is really hungry right now, trying to stay in contention here. And that was a heck of a game. I'm sure we'll see more of that coming up. The Bruins face the Norsemen again this weekend when the home-and-home -home set opens in St. Cloud on Friday. North Iowa Bulls 29-22, 2-1, 61 points. Todd Sentence Bulls split the weekend home series with fifth place Minot leaving themselves just a single point ahead of St. Cloud for the division's number two seed. The next six games are all against the Bobcats starting this weekend in Bismarck. That's going to be fun to watch. We like seeing Bismarck come out of the shadows. They did it last year. They may be able to do it again this year. Six games with that team is not going to be fun. Lane Sedevi knows what he's doing. Number three, St. Cloud Norseman, 26, 23, and 5, 60 points. Just a point behind North Iowa for second place. They're in third. Corey Millen and the Norseman picked up a shootout loss point from Saturday's roadie to Austin. And again, they play a home and home series starting this weekend. After all the baloney the league has put St. Cloud through this year, Corey and the boys there are doing a good job. 
look for them to stay in the top four, look for them to make some noise and in the playoffs this year. Number four, Aberdeen Wings are two points behind St. Cloud, 26, 22, 3, and 3. Scott Langer's Wings snagged three points from the weekend at Bismarck, set, set the table for this week's Civil War with at home against Minot. Will the Wings be able to hold off the Toros? We're going to find out. Minot's only four points behind Aberdeen. Minot is 26 26 1 and 1. Cody Campbell's Monotoro split the weekend set at North Iowa. The bus rolls to currently fourth place Aberdeen this weekend, giving the Toros the perfect opportunity to pull even with the Wings. When these two teams to get, get together, there's always going to be a war. Really, Minot, Aberdeen are always going to be looking to beat Bismarck year in, year out. But really, every game in a central division is a war, isn't it? Number six, Bismarck Bobcats, 23-25, 4-2, 52 points. Still six points behind Aberdeen. Lane Sedevi and the Bobcats let Aberdeen skate out of Bismarck's VAW Sports Center with a trio of points, a fact that could easily come back to haunt the Cats six games from now. While the playoff hopes continue to fade, Bismarck can still win themselves back into the thick of things with the next six games all against North Iowa. I really feel sorry for the North Iowa Bulls right now. They're going to face a very angry kitty cat. Bismarck's going to come in there and really try to scratch their way back into the playoff situation. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's going to be fun watching it. And Bismarck is certainly capable of playing the spoiler and knocking North Iowa down a few steps. Quick show today, folks. Going to get out of here and run, face the rest of our day. We hope that you enjoy your morning coffee.